Most people don't know what they're talking about, man. Most people don't know what they're talking about. This is why I, I don't really like advice. There's a time and a place at times, you know, obviously to get advice from people who have done what you're, who have already done what you're trying to do. I'm gonna give you my philosophy on advice. If the person's never done what you're trying to do, or is not going after something relentlessly, aggressively in any category of their life, then you don't need to listen to them, quite simply. If they're not living their life in a way that inspires you, and they're not taking any big time action towards any big time goal, then you don't need to ask for advice. I can look back at all of, the, all of the times in my career, from the time when I was in seventh grade, when I made the choice to stop playing soccer and start playing football. I didn't ask for advice. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to play football. When I, when I graduated high school and was figuring out, you know, should I go play at a D3 school or I had an opportunity to walk on to Oregon State, I didn't ask for advice. I walked on to Oregon State. When I got to my third season there and I realized I wasn't getting the playing time and the scholarship that I deserved, I chose to go to Portland State. I wrote an, I wrote an email to the running back coach and in three days they offered me a full-time scholarship. I didn't ask for advice. If it was up to my friends, they would have told me to stay. Pac-10, football, you know, at the Pac-12, football is better than, you know, obviously going to the big sky. But I knew what I wanted to do. I knew where I wanted to ultimately end up and my current route wasn't gonna get me there. So nobody at that time could have told me what was best for me. Not my mom, not my dad, not the coaches at Oregon State, not my homeboys. So at some point, you gotta be able to make decisions on your own. You gotta be decisive and make a decision and stick to it. Cause at the worst, what's gonna happen? It doesn't turn out as it should have or as you wanted it to. And then what? You gain some profitable experience and some wisdom and some insight that you wouldn't have had before. And now your instincts are sharper. You know, a lot of people talk about experience being the best teacher. But in my experience, if you don't learn from experience consciously, if you don't deliberately take time to evaluate yourself ruthlessly and look at each situation and find out where it profits you and what you would do differently, then that experience didn't mean anything because you're liable to make the same mistake. So if you learn to do that, you can actually become the best teacher that you could ever have because you can look back at all the things that you've ever done and realize, yo, I, I could do this differently. You could peep game, but you're, you're, the goal should not to be to not make mistakes or to, or to not make bad decisions. There is no bad decision. The only bad decision is no decision at all. So when I got, when I got hurt and I busted my wrist up, you know, I had friends telling me, yo, it's probably not a good idea to waste all your money, you know, paying for a trainer and trying to get to the league. You're probably not gonna make it. So if I were to listen to my friends, I would have never played in the NFL. I would have never got to start against the San Francisco 49ers as a starting fullback and get to hear my name called out in the, in the New Orleans Superdome. I would have never had that opportunity if I would have listened to other people. I would have never had that opportunity. So I'm challenging you to be decisive. Make choices, man. And practice that by not spending a lot of time on any choice at all. If an opportunity comes up, say yes or no and then move on. A lot of times I'll have athletes, like some of my athletes, they'll ask me, They'll ask my advice, right? And they'll tell me, you know, what do you think I should do? I got this camp coming up or, you know, this school or that school. And a lot of times I just listen, right? And then I just ask them, well, what do you want to do? And then you know what they do? They tell me exactly what they want to do. So why are you asking me? You already know the answer to your own question. You already know the answer. But a lot of us become so weak because our, our decision-making muscles are so weak and atrophy because we don't use them that we end up looking to other people to provide us with the answers that we should have. And then we get upset when we don't get the results that we want because we're asking other people what they think. You already know the answer. Everybody's got a super conscious. Everybody's got a voice inside of them that knows exactly what to do. That knows exactly what to do. That knows, that knows all the right moves to make. It's that same voice. It's that same part of you that, that, that is out when you're in the zone, when you can't be touched, when you're drilling them threes, when every time you touch the ball, you don't get hit. When you're flowing, when you when you're when you're just in your zone, that's the same voice, and you've got to learn how to access that. You got to learn how to access that, and it's just like any other muscle. You got to use it. So make decisions. Anybody thinking about something, like you, you might as well make a decision. There is no wrong decision. 
So a decision made is way better than a decision waffled over for 10 days. I'd rather have somebody make a decision and have it go wrong than somebody waffle about it, you know, for 10 or 20 days and nothing ever happens about it. Because like I said, at the worst, what's gonna happen is you make a choice that doesn't go how you want it and then you learn from it. You actually have wisdom and insight now from it that you didn't have before. But if you would have sat there and took somebody else's advice the whole time in the back of your head and thinking, man, I already knew what to do. I already knew I should have done that. You already know what you gotta do in order to get where you're trying to get. You know whatever you think about at night when no one's with you and your head is laying down at night, all those dreams and goals that you have, but you're afraid to commit to them. You're afraid to commit to them. So make a choice to go after those goals. Make a decision to go after it. And stop asking for other people's advice. Your parents don't know what's best for you. Your parents don't know what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. Your coach doesn't know. Your coach doesn't know. You ask Michael Jordan what his coach told him when he was in high school. His coach didn't think he had the juice enough to play varsity basketball. So what if he listened to his coach? There's multiple examples of that, man. Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone. He's not my favorite actor, but Rocky is my freaking favorite movie of all time. Rocky II, Rocky IV. He wrote those, man. He tried to get everybody to buy those movies from him. Nobody wanted to buy it. So if he would have took the advice of, of, the, of those people, they would have told him, just quit, bro. You don't have it right there, man. Go be a bodybuilder or something. You're not good at making movies. This movie's not going to be a hit. And then the one who did pick it up, guess what he said? Or wanted to pick it up? Yo, we'll pick it up just as long as you make sure, just as long as you're not the one playing Rocky. What did Sylvester Stallone say? Was he like, oh, well, I guess I should just listen to these guys. They know better than me because they're, they're the pros, right? These are guys that have been doing it for years and years. They already know, right? Nah, he didn't do that. He kept going, man. He listened to himself because he knew he had gold. He knew he had gold in the Rocky movies. He knew it was going to blow up, and it did. It did exactly what he knew it would, it would do. So I know there's something that you're not doing because you think that you, because somebody told you that maybe you weren't good enough, you weren't fast enough, maybe you want to play a certain position and the coach is telling you, yo, you don't have it. Yo, only you know if you have it or not. Don't let nobody tell you that, man. Don't let nobody tell you that. Yo, this dude want to be heard so bad, man. He's out there shouting, huh? You get your shine, bro. Hi. Go ahead, say what up. Hi, Papa. Say what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> it's my son right here, man. It's my son. His name is Lil Town. Lil Town Chi. Huh. <laughs> That's my son, man. That's the little baby in the background that was talking the whole time I'm trying to shoot this video. <laughs>